Hi, this is Susan Ferrara from SusanF.com, and in today's episode of the Law of Attraction series, I'm going to actually talk about perfectionism. And I have experienced perfectionism in my own life, and I won't say I am a reformed perfectionist or I was a perfectionist like I used to say because I've noticed that it was only in certain situations, and what I talk about today is going to explain why that is. So many women, men too, but this is really about women. So many women, especially in my past career in the fashion industry, it runs rampant, identify themselves with being a perfectionist. In fact, a lot of women, and I used to do this too, wear it as a badge of honor, just like the busy badge. You know, the busier you are, the more important you are, the more productive you are, which makes you worthy. Same thing with perfectionism. I remember saying it in job interviews, like, oh, that's my weakness, knowing like people would want, you know, want that. And perfectionism is actually a defense mechanism. Perfectionism is a sign that someone is really scared, really scared on the inside. They are fearful of judgment. Perfectionism covers up a fear of judgment. You try to be so perfect that you are above judgment because you don't want to be criticized. You don't want someone to tell you you're wrong. You don't want someone to tell you you're bad or what you've done is bad, your work or whatever it is that you're perfecting. Um, And this is why it holds people back. This is why it creates so much stress. Perfectionist, true perfectionist is a very stressed person because it takes a lot of energy to uphold perfection doesn't exist. So you're always raising the bar, raising the bar, raising the bar. You're always making it harder and harder and harder for yourself. And it's like you're straddling this line. It's it's a very fine line of being found out, right? That's what it feels like to a perfectionist. And it's not something that most perfectionists are aware of, but it does come from a fear of being judged. Now, There's always a flip side. On the flip side of this, there is what I believe is creative excellence. And I am a creator. I'm an artist. I have always been artistic and I've always been creator, uh, creative and always wanted to create new things in my life and, you know, my life and physical things or art or projects or whatever, my business, all of that. I can get obsessed with it. I can get really into it. And there is a difference. And the difference is that perfectionism, like I said, is about that fear of judgment, whereas creative excellence is coming from you wanting to feel expressed. And that that feeling of wanting your vision to come to life and wanting to feel expressed will drive you toward creative excellence. And you might get obsessed and you might go away for... Uh, lock yourself in a a room for a week while you create something. I've done that both ways. I've done it as a perfectionist. And usually there's a lot of procrastination. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of coffee and, you know, drops your magnesium levels. It's awful. My body definitely um, is affected by all of that. Our bodies are affected by that kind of stress. Whereas creative excellence, you lose track of time. You are in your zone. It feels like you don't need coffee because you are so in it. You are feeling it and it's coming through you. Whereas perfectionism drains you because you are thinking. You have to think of every little detail, every little thing. So someone doesn't think this or someone doesn't say that or this is the best because you need to be better than someone else. And not everyone can be a superstar. You have to be at the top. That's another video. But one is very draining and disempowering. The other is empowering. And there's nothing wrong with you know, if you like to work that way, I like to work where when I am really into a creative project, I can shut myself away for long periods of time. I actually did it for five fucking years. And, you know, I I needed to do that. I needed to really let it come through me and let it come out. I'm not saying you have to do it for five years, but you know what I mean? Um, That can be healthy. So it's all about the intention underneath. When you are creating something, especially if you notice yourself resisting and procrastinating, 
I want you to start asking yourself, you know, why am I resisting this? What am I afraid of? What might happen? Questions like these are going to help you get to the true intention. If you are creating something for someone else's approval, for someone else um, at all, because of, you know, or if you're afraid to put something out there because of what they might say, that is coming from fear of judgment. That is coming from perfectionism. Whereas you have this vision and you have to see this project come to life, or maybe it's going, going to lead you to another project and it intuitively feels like you have to create it and stay up all night. Whereas on the other hand, you're staying up all night out of making sure that no one can say a bad word about it. And on this hand, you're staying up all night because you're just so in flow and in the zone, you couldn't sleep if you tried. One is empowering, one is disempowering. And all you have to do is feel inside which one is empowering, which one is disempowering. And you can do that by finding your intention and by trusting your gut. So I hope this one was helpful. I know a lot of my clients struggle with this and people in my community struggle with this and don't even realize it. So I hope that you can stop making yourself feel bad when you are in the zone and putting your all in your work out of feeling, wanting to feel self-expressed. And you can start realizing when you are doing it from a place of worrying about other, what other people think. And hopefully that awareness will help you be able to find your own rhythm and flow around creation. So thanks so much for watching. If you know someone who needs to hear this, please do share as always. And I love hearing your comments and your feedback. It makes me want to keep going and it gives me so many good ideas and inspiration too. So let me know um, if you're loving it. And if you have any other topics that you would love for me to discuss, you can always put those in the comments too. I will see you soon next week on another episode of Law of Attraction series. Hey, before you go, I want to tell you about a free class that I have tomorrow. It is all about going from overwhelm into flow, how to go from overwhelm, frustration, and an acute case of comparisonitis to ease freedom and flow in your business and your life. I went through this myself. It's for female leaders, artists, and creative entrepreneurs who've turned their dream freedom business into another unfulfilling, soul-sucking job. You're going to learn the three hidden little bitches that keep you spinning your wheels and behaving more like an internet marketer instead of the visionary leader you know that you are. You're going to learn the one thing that you must prioritize in order to truly feel free and move forward with ease and get paid for it. And you're going to learn how to use your Facebook newsfeed and other things that trigger the fuck out of you as a tool for clarity as you step into the unknown. We're going to do an eye-opening exercise at the very beginning so you can see for yourself how you are creating your reality from the inside out. And you are responsible for this annoying, unfulfilling mess, but that is a good thing because then you can change it. So bring some paper and a writing utensil for that. The class is happening Friday, February 24th, 2017, but there will be a replay for a limited time. So sign up even if you're hearing this um, after the fact. Just click here to sign up. You will go to easymoney.com slash freedom and flow, easymoney.com slash freedom and flow. Click here, first name, email, sign up, and I will see you there.